Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to record a login test and add the test into our automation project or automation framework. Now in the earlier session we have already learned how to create a Java Maven TestNG automation framework for Appium using Eclipse and we have already added our libraries and dependencies. We have also added test and pages folder and we created some test and ran on the mobile device. So this we have already done and if I go to my Eclipse and show you so you can see this is the project we created in the last session Appium demo project and we have added all these folders and classes and we have created some test as well. So this is our base class where we added the dependencies and we started the driver here and this is the test class. So this is going to be a prerequisite for this session just in case you have not watched the earlier session you can watch that and here you will find the Appium playlist where you will get all these videos. So I will also copy this and make this available in the notes so that you can refer it. And yes, this is available here and all these notes will be available with this video. So now we will start creating a login test. So I will go to my Eclipse and go to the tests.java class and here you can see this is the functions or tests we created earlier and here I can now create a new login test. So let me just create a new function I will say public void login test and I have to give the test ng annotation which is at test so I will just say at test and make sure this is coming from org test ng dot annotations and now inside this I can start creating my login test. Now you can either do it manually like we had done in the last session. For example, you can go to your website or web application and one by one you can right click on the elements inspect and then you can get the properties or locators from here and keep on adding the actions here or you can use some recorder utility. So for that I am going to go to I will go to my apps. So I am on Chrome browser. If you are on Chrome browser you will get this apps here and we have to go to web store so I will go to web store and here I will search for Catalon recorder so Catalon recorder is a utility that can be used to record our test cases and then we can also export it into different programming languages so here it is Catalon recorder and you will get an add button in my case I already have it so I am not getting the add to chrome button you will get something like this button and once you add it to your chrome you will have it here on your bar the top bar here so if I see here let me just check and yes it is here you can see Catalon recorder is here I will click here and it will open the Catalon recorder window and this is the place where you can record and create your tests so I will click on this new button and I will name something here so I will say this is login test and say ok so it has come here and now you can see we have this record button I will click on record and it will take me back to my browser and I can start the recording here so let me also split my screen so that you can see the browser as well as the Catalon recorder so let me go here where is my recorder yes it is here so I will split my screen here is my Catalon recorder and here is my browser so whatever I will record you will see the steps getting added here so I will go to I will just go to a demo website orange HRM and I will click here and you can see it has already given us a username and password that we can use so I will say admin and you can see all this is getting recorded here and admin 123 and click on login and then I will just click on this welcome admin link and click on log out and that's it I will click on this stop recording and it should stop the recording and you can see it has stopped and now if you see here if you see here it has recorded all our actions and you can see all these commands and targets and values here and the good thing is if you click on any of these commands you will see the details here 
so you can see the command being used in case you want to change you can change it from here you can also see the target so this is the element property it is using to locate it and it has actually captured and recorded multiple locators and it is using this locator but in case you find any issues you can also check with other locators which is very good here we have a button to uh, check the element so if you click here it will select the target element and here you can also find and highlight the element so for example if I show you again I will just go here and I will click on this and you can see as I click here it is highlighting this username so as I click this it is highlighting this and you can also add more elements delete or do any kind of actions here and here now I will do a playback to check everything is working fine and you can also see this playback speed you can make it slow or fast makes uh, depending on your network and I will keep it on fastest mode and say play and let us see so you see it is going to the website again and you can see all these steps here and log out and everything is green that means everything is successful it is working fine so this is working fine now if I go to this export you will see export button here go to export you can export in Java C sharp uh, node Python robot framework Ruby etc I need Java with web driver and test ng I will click here and you can see the entire code here now I am only interested in the test part so this is what I will copy from here I'll just copy the test part and I will go to my framework I'll just go to my Eclipse and here in the test login test function I'm going to paste it here so you can see I have just pasted it here I have not done anything else I have simply pasted everything here and that's it so I will save this and now I can run this so here you can see we have two other tests two earlier tests and this test now make sure your APM is running and your device is connected we have already seen this in the earlier session so in my case my Android mobile device is connected to my laptop and you can also see the screen here this is a real device connected and I will go to terminal you can go to your command prompt in case of Windows and if I say ADB devices you should get your device ID and then to run the APM server I will say APM and enter you can also run it from APM desktop client so this is running now and I can go and run my test case so let us see the output you can see we are getting logs on the APM server so the first test is a Google test the second test also is a Google test and then we have a login test so it is running the first test now okay so it is running the the login test because it is not in order it just takes by the name in alphabetical sequence so it is taking this and here it is adding the username and password however it did not click on the login button it did not click on the login button so we can check the console and check the logs so here it is still trying to find it out and we are using this by ID BTN login now you can add some wait time here actually so if you go to your catalog recorder just before this BTN login I will say plus and you can see a new command is here and I will search for wait for element present and you can see it is here and here I will say here ID is or target is ID equals BTN login and that's it and if I go to export and see so you can see this is the new code which is added so I can also copy this to my framework just before the click on login button and this is what so is element present is again a separate function which is here I can also copy this and put it in my code here 
and no such element exception has to be imported from org open Q selenium and that's it so you can see this field should also be static import assert field and yes I will say add throws declaration for thread.sleep and now there are no errors and see we are waiting for 60 seconds until we find this button this particular element by idbtn login and we are waiting for every iteration we are waiting until one second and finally it will time out so let me just make this as 30 seconds 30 seconds are enough and I will run this again and let us see now what happens so while you are doing automation with mobile devices you might face a lot of issues like this and you have to troubleshoot it uh, you can also get your error code or message and go to Google and put it there and you will find a lot of options and help there as well so I am trying with wait so it is adding username password and now it should be waiting for getting the login button ID or this element but I believe it is not able to find it so it is still not able to find it so what you can also do is you can also check with UI automator I will go to a new tab of the terminal by pressing command T on Windows you can open a new command line and I will just say so it, it failed and now it is running the second and third test so this is the earlier tests uh, first and second test so which was a Google test and then it should run the next test where we are adding Raghav and see it is just appending it because we have not cleared it so this is running and it is running fine so I'll go to UI automator viewer and I will hit enter and we already have a session on this UI automator viewer just in case you have to look at it we already have a session on how to use the UI automator viewer here you can see this so this is opening our UI automator viewer and if I click on this button it will take the snapshot of my mobile screen but I need to go first to the that particular page so to get there let me just run my test and then I will stop when I get to that particular screen so let me run my test here so once I get to that login screen I will stop my test and then analyze on UI automator viewer and yes it has come here I will go and stop my test from this set button and I will go to UI Automator Viewer and click on this device screenshot. Uh, so it is having some error. It is not able to interact with the remote object does not exist and these are the details. So I believe because APM is running, uh, I will stop the APM server. I have pressed Ctrl C on this APM terminal and now I should be able to get the screen on UI automator if I click again here and yes I am getting it but now I need to go back to the browser and open the same application and yes now I will click on this again and with UI automator the good thing is once you have captured the screen it will stay here even if I change the screen on mobile device and you can also save it for later use so you can also save it from here all this we have learned earlier so if I go to login button you can see the resource ID is btn login which is correct and this is what we have been using here id btn login we can also use text uh, we can also use bounds here or other xpaths so we are using a correct identifier and mostly if resource ID is available we should go with the ID because this is unique uh, but still we are not able to get it so let it be what I can do for now is just for getting my test complete for now instead of clicking on button login I'm jo just going to comment all of this and I'm just going to say after adding the username and password I will click on enter so I will say driver dot I can just copy this all and I will just say send keys keys dot enter and that's it 
and this should be coming from here you should have this keys org open qs rename keys imported and it should normally take care of this import and that's it we are just clicking on enter key that should lock in and then click on welcome and log out and I have to start my Appium server again and you can also start your Appium server on different ports so I can say if I say Appium and enter it will start on default port which is 4723 but I can also say minus minus port and give some other port number and that will start on that particular port so you can see it has started on 9191 and make sure if you change this you should also be changing the port number here in your base class I will say 9191 save and now I can run my test so this has started and let me see here if I'm yes I'm getting the logs on APM server so that means it is running fine and let us see the test now so opening the browser going to the website entering username and password and yes it went to the home page and yes it clicked on welcome and log out and this is done and this is the next test case this is also working fine so these are the earlier test cases and this is the another test case this is also working fine and now it should stop now don't get confused in case you are uh, thinking why it is running this login test first and then it is running the earlier test this is just taking by the uh, alphabetical order and we can also provide priorities so here I can just provide priority equals one two three and this we will learn later or you can also go to my uh, selenium videos uh, selenium framework where I have discussed about test ng there are multiple videos on test ng on this selenium java framework which will be same in this case as well so if you go here you will find a lot of test ng videos where I have discussed on a lot of things like priorities and everything so you can find a lot of test ng videos here and this is we are able to run our login test so I will also provide some uh, links in the notes which will be helpful for you and here are some element locators so if you see this this link is very useful and then other link is this one API documentation for Appium this is again very useful link so you can see here for finding elements for Java, Python, JavaScript, Ruby, C Sharp, PHP all the selector strategies are given here and all the description for different Appium server and clients this will be very handy and then if you go to this API documentation again you can see a lot of things for example if you want to add timeouts implicit wait if you go here in Java this is how you will add it and if I show you on my code I'll just close this if I show you my code here I go to the base class and you can see I have already added this statement manage timeout so you can also add this and this is how you can record any test and add to your framework I hope this session was very useful for you if you have any doubts you can always troubleshoot your issues by going to Google or you can put it in the comment section below and I will try to reply to you as soon as I can do subscribe to this channel for more videos on automation testing DevOps and CI and I will meet you in the next session thank you for watching